Mr. Uh, Riding coat. Yes. I'm not interested in your strange stories. Apart from that, you have to know that we are very happy with Dr. Ham's work. So, he will stay here and he isn't going anywhere with you. Is that clear? Okay, if you don't mind, now get away. I've got important matters to deal with. My little plants need water. Damn. I think this old witch is going to create some problems for me. I'm not a big pair of glasses. In case you don't know, these glasses are the most modern ones. Against ultraviolet rays, cross-proof side pieces. Fantastic, so with them I'll see perfectly. Very clear, your face of an idiot. Those glasses look very interesting. But don't think glasses have always been like these ones. You should have seen the first ones. Let's go to my laboratory. I'll tell you a few things. Fine! Somebody is coming. La la li, la la la. Here you are, fresh and nice water. La la li, la la la, la la li. Neither her nor anybody will prevent me from accomplishing my mission. Dr. Ham and the alien should never have escaped from that experiment, and I have to arrest them and bring them to my superiors. Ha <laughs> ha! Get ready, Dr. Ham. Your time has come. Very well, kids. Make yourselves comfortable. Now, we only need a bit of help. Hello, Flask. Thank you. You know, the children, they want to know something about glasses. I'm sure you want to show us something. <laughs> hmm, funny guy. Is that all you've learned? Ha, huh, now you're going to tell us the whole history of glasses. Primitive people would have needed glasses, perhaps because they've been born with sight defects or because they lost sight when they were old. Therefore, some of them weren't able to carry out tasks that needed good sight, and these were almost all tasks in those days. It seems that the Chinese developed 2,000 years ago something similar to glasses, but they used them in a strange way because they had to protect their eyes from evil forces. Nobody has discovered who invented the glasses, but in an excavation of the ancient Mesopotamia, someone found the oldest lens we have. It is said that Nero, the famous Roman emperor, liked to watch shows through a green emerald in order to see everything with a coloured filter. That is, he used them like sunglasses, not to correct sight. It was in the 13th century, in the Middle Ages, when an English monk called Bacon put two lenses into two wooden rings connected by a nail. He was inventing glasses. The news arrived to Italy, where Savino Darmati and Alessandro Espina, having copied them, argued about who had invented them. From the beginning, glasses were considered as one of the main inventions of history, and important people from that period said that the manufacture of lenses was one of the most necessary arts. Like any other invention in its early stage, glasses were not perfect at the beginning because craftsmen hadn't found the way of fixing them properly so that they wouldn't fall down from the face. They tried all kinds of solutions. Cords, pincers, springs. Huh. It was necessary to wait another 300 years until an English optician, Edward Scarlett, put side pieces or arms to the glasses so they could rest on the ears as we know them now. 
Still in the 19th century, people with sight defects had to find the glasses which were more adequate for their problem. They found their glasses among the manufactured ones offered by street sight. <laughs> Nowadays, they're suitable to the needs of each person. They follow the new fashions, and very strange types are produced. Even glasses with windscreen wipers. Ready, ready, just like cars have.